set this one to the front. So we're going to model kind of like a wheel, like a wagon wheel, and then it's going to show you how to snap uh, rotation and whatnot. You can also do an array modifier, but we've done a, a demo of that before. So we'll just do this one kind of like a regular one. So um, I'm going to get a, uh, an object here, mesh uh, cylinder. Okay. And the default number for this is 32. Uh, once you put subdivision surface to this, it will be super smooth. But we're just going to use a 32. Uh, you know, nothing wrong with that. And uh, I'm going to rotate this. So that would be RX90, so that it's facing us. Okay. And we don't need to worry about the thickness for now. We're kind of doing it kind of like a 2D design. All right. But let's say this is all we want right here. We could also just select just this face right here okay and when you do control i it reverses the selection okay control i reverses the selection then you can just delete those faces and you only get this part right here okay so i'm going to go to one right here and what we've learned before is that we can uh, press i and do inset polygon and that kind of creates, let's say, the first layer that will be maybe the rubber tire around it. Okay? And then we can also go and uh, do the other parts, right? So from here, I'm just going to go uh, uh, extrude this and then move it along the Y axis. So that would be Y. Just kind of push it back just like so. So it kind of give it a little separation right there. Okay? Um, because uh, the thing is, we're trying to kind of recreate uh, a 2D design, but having extrusion going in, it creates opportunity for shadows to fall. So it looks like there's depth in there. All right. So, all right. So now I'm going to press I again. This will kind of create another layer into the wheel. Okay. And then this one, I'm going to do the exact same thing. Press E. To extrude and then Y to go kind of in, right? Like so. So it just you know when we're looking at it in 2D, like so, you know we could already see you know where the shadow might fall and whatnot. Okay. Finally, here I'm going to press I again for inset polygon. This one will be for the axle, kind of like the middle one right there. Okay. Uh, I'm going to uh, increase my selection by pressing Control Plus. So I wanted this part right here okay and then I'm going to shift click this one to deselect it so I can just delete all this area over here all right so I'm going to press X and delete faces so it kind of looks like this all right so I'm going to press uh, 2 for edge select all those edges press E to extrude those okay and then press Y to kind of push them back so it kind of gives it a depth I'm going to select this part again, press I, okay, press E, press I, press E. Just so that we got kind of multi-depth on the wheel right here, okay. Now we got to create the spokes, and for that one we're going to get another cylinder, all right. It's a new cylinder right here. I'm going to change its radius so that it's not very out. Uh, and we're going to cut down to 16 vertices. I mean, we're going to cut it down so you, you don't need to spend a lot of polygon on it. Okay. I'm also going to increase this one so that we are just going to put it like so. So there's some intersection going on. All right. It's just kind of enough for it to kind of go right there. So right now, when I rotate this thing, okay, here's what happens. It's rotating in its center point. That's a default one, okay? So what we can do is uh, since it originated from the center and I just moved it up, we still have our 3D cursor right here. You see it? Mm -hmm. So if I tell this object, set your origin or your pivot point, okay? Your origin to the 3D cursor. As you can see that dot move right there. So now when I rotate this, see where it's pivoting? All right. Okay. So now uh, we did array, and you could do this with array, the modifier. Well, let's just do it manually. Okay. So 
something fun, fun about doing it manually because you get you, you can see the uh, snapping all right so now I'm going to duplicate this rest assured there's a duplicate agree mm -hmm. there's a duplicate in there so I'm gonna hold down control okay uh, sorry I'm gonna press R first to rotate it but I'm gonna hold down control when you hold down control you snap mm -hmm. five degree increment you see it so I can for sure nail this thing on a 45 on a 90 degree Right. I could also type nine R Y for uh, ninety. It'll do it. But we're learning new stuff, right? So snapping, rotating while snapping or moving or whatever. When you hold down Control, you have that snap. So if I select the two together, Shift D to duplicate them. Okay, and then I do R, hold down Control, then I can just go right there, and then I got those already. And you probably get the point. Select those, Shift D, R, Control, I'm going to go in between. Okay, that's uh, look like 45 to you? Looks like it, right? Yeah. So depending on how many uh, spokes you want, um, let's say we want to put a spoke in between that one. Okay, so I'm going to go Shift D, R, Control, and then... Oh, it doesn't look like it's, we have that snap in there, right? It's not quite correct, so I'm going to uh, just free hand this one. All right, what about that? That looks good. Okay. And voila. There's that. Okay, kind of like a 2D rope. Of course, we need to work on <laughs> positioning and whatnot. So uh, we're going to leave that in there. We're going to move this back. I'm going to go to the side viewport here, so I'm going to go U, Y. Just kind of want those in there. Okay. All right, and then we're going to have to uh, uh, kind of fix this one. Um, select all this. Then kind of move this forward, kind of right there, and then move all those, kind of position that in there, okay. And then of course, finally this one because we were just kind of creating that 2D effect right there. All right, and then this one right here, extrude Y. All right, so that should be. Or 2D kind of wheel that should do the trick. All right, or we can go to here, see some shadow opportunities where we're kind of after all along. There you go. So, the way you light it, there you go. So, it's just to kind of create those things right there. I'm going to put, turn on contact shadow. So, it's 2D, but it has kind of like a 3D effect. Okay. Mm -hmm. I select that one and then duplicate it along the X and we can go as many as you want on this one but the idea is you probably would want to texture UV do all that so before you start duplicating all right for real because I'm sometimes you duplicate just for blocking so you know where position are but you don't want to be duplicating without finishing them because you're going to have to color the new wheel mm -hmm. all over again okay so that's uh, rotational snap by holding down control.